Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO City review. Today we'll be looking at set number 60394, ETV and Otter Habitat. This set includes 90 pieces, retails for $9.99 when it released January 1st of 2023. Now when I first heard of this set, I was really excited and I did not expect LEGO to include two otters in here. So excited to finally get those again in LEGO form. Same piece that we saw introduced in Harry Potter, just a brand new color, which I expect a lot of fans will really enjoy. Looking at the box art, same style that we've seen before, nothing really too exciting that I have to mention there. Push tab from the back because it's a $10 set. Here's another look at the contents, which we'll be taking a closer look at right now. Included in the box are two unnumbered bags, two loose plate pieces, and your instruction manual. Instructions follow same style as you'll see in the foreseeable future. Win policeman from the back. Piece count for two pages. Leading on to a quick advertisement for some of the other sets in the wave. Most notably, I guess that slushy ice cream truck there is pretty neat because it includes a penguin. Otherwise, none of these sets really interest me. I know that there is one other set that I do plan on getting in the future once it drops to a reasonable price. For the one minifigure included in this set, we get a park ranger who is exclusive due to the arrangement of parts. We get a brand new torso print front and back. I really like the printing for the badge with the little tree on it. I think that works very well for a park ranger. Get the printing from the back where you see the continuation of the belt as well as some extra lines to define the figure. Legs don't have any printing. Facial expression we saw introduced back in 2018 with the smirk from the front, and you can turn that right around to see a winking smile from the backside. We also get the princess hair piece, which is a nice hair piece to get, kind of makes her look like Hermione Granger a bit. In addition to the hair piece, we also happen to get a helmet, which includes one of those Star Wars visors from the front of it. The helmet piece in question we have gotten before. I believe it was introduced in the Lego City stunt waves, but still nice to get it in a cheap $10 set. No doubt the attraction of this set for most collectors will be the inclusion of these two little otter molds, which returned from back in 2020, where we got it with the sparkle as Luna's Patronus and Harry Potter. This time we get it in that full brown, which is really amazing. You get the printing for the eyes and the nose. And of course, this guy is made so he can fit on some anti-studs. You can see that from the bottom of the design. Really amazing to get two otters in here in a $10 set. Really great value when it comes to animal pieces. In order to feed the otter, we also happen to get one of these silver fish pieces, which is really funny because it's a lot bigger than the otter, but I guess it's enough food to feed both of them, which is really nice. As for the other two side builds included, we start off with our ATV which is equipped with a nice seating area or standing area for our minifigure of the park ranger. They could stand right there and also move our hands so they can fit on the handlebars. You can also see that we get a printed 1x2 cheese slope for the dashboard. I also have to note these green pieces from both the front and the back are brand new recolors for this set. I also like getting this piece, which is commonly seen in LEGO City. It's not a piece that I normally get in sets. Get these giant wheels which of course allow it to go back and forth as you please on the table or where whatever surface you put it on and from the very back you get some clip piece connections one for a walkie talkie and another one for a camera which i really like that we get a camera to take pictures of the otters i think that's a really neat accessory to see included for the park ranger minifigure and lastly that brings us to the little otter habitat which is a really adorable build to get a small tree as well as some foresty area, some rocks, and a little bit of water off to the side for them to play in. One of my favorite features here has to be the inclusion of the water slide, which is created with this 2x6 tile piece. I really like getting that in that blue color. If you don't know how this is supposed to work, you bring in one of your otters, and you can easily just slide them down. Simple play feature, something I bet kids will enjoy. I also like getting these stem pieces, you get two of those in this set. 
Another printed piece inclusion is this 2x2 circular tile for that log end, which is pretty common. We get a little frog, some leaves, and the lime green color. I believe this is also supposed to represent like a rock or a pebble that you can have the otter use to maybe pretend to break open clams or something, though none of those are included. Unfortunately, I think that would have been really neat to see them include like a clam or a shell or something. Moving back around to the tree build, you get some of those leafy pieces and some jumper plates from the very top. I believe this set was originally supposed to include a bird, which is actually shown in the description on LEGO Shop at Home, though unfortunately that is not included in the set any longer. I believe those jumper plates were included for that reason. Would have been nice to see, but still not something that was really necessary for this set, as we wanted to keep the focus on the little otters. So overall for $10, is this set worth it? If you want to get those otters, I recommend getting this set. $10 is a pretty cheap and easy price to handle when it comes to getting a brand new animal mold. Minifigure is really nice to get as well with a brand new torso print. Otherwise, it's a bunch of reused pieces. Overall, as a playset, I think this will be very fun for kids. And for adult collectors, I see a lot of great part value in this set, especially when it comes to the terrain. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never to upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!